Traders, hi, how are we all doing? I apologize for yesterday. I didn't do a back test video. Uh, and I'm sort of feeling <clears throat> I'm medicated, but feeling probably worse. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna sneeze too. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the New Zealand uh, US dollar here. And I mean, how I did plan to target this was a breakdown. No, it's not. Look at me. This is some raw footage here, guys. So this is what it's about. It's, you know, you may not be feeling the best, but you get it done. All right, so the New Zealand dollar trade, this is what I was targeting. Uh, it had an open take profit and a 1R here. And it really, it just didn't want to trigger. And I had it down here. Was that the low? It's the low there. It was 75.64. Yeah, so I targeted 70. 559, which was five pips below the low. And this happened, and this happened, you know, within an hour or so. So this was around 10 o'clock, and I was like, you know, I'm done with that. I'm closing that out. I mean, the overall trend is downward, but uh, it's, it's there's a little bit of a balance. There's obviously some support there in the low 70s. So it's a little frustrating. I won't trade tomorrow as well. So in reality, it's probably going to be no trades this week. And it was shaping up pretty nicely. This candle here, I was like, mm, you know. But I just wanted to to see some further breakdown, especially over these, these lows here. I only started looking at this probably around here, to be honest. So I would have probably taken the trade off that, and that would have been frustrating. Yeah, so. All right, Euro. Euro. Significant bounce here as well. I'll just get the trade. So this is no man's land because you've got where the 55 day moving average is relative to the 200. It just doesn't, it's not working for me for a trend trade. So that's how I trade things. I mean, you'll see a lot of this is a lot of waiting around. That's really what trading is. Unless you're a scalper on the lower time frames, then it's a little different for you. And I think really you're an exception in the population because really good scalpers are like fighter jet pilots honestly to to manage themselves under pressure it's a real discipline so everyone's like i want to trade the five minute charts and make me like, it's extremely difficult i'm not you know that intelligent to be honest and i can't process things very fast that's me so that's why i do do this okay so that's <laughs> oh man <clears throat> that's just how i do it Okay, not saying that scalping isn't for you. I'm just saying maybe do some back testing, some demo testing, and then see. All right, so the USD yen. Uh, look, I see potential upside, but it's just very frustrating. I got into this here and I got out maybe around here or so. I can't quite remember. I was in a little bit of profit, and I think it was here actually. And then bam, it was some good NFP data out. All right, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to conclude things. Let's finish on the New Zealand dollar. Whew. All right. Okay. So, again, I want to see a breakdown below 76. 76 mid. Really below this lows. So, I mean, even in the 7, 70, 50s. And it, it really, to me, that's pretty bullish. Um it's just not keen to do that, guys. I'm going to wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Happy trading and good luck. Bye.